What's happening? Uh, hope you had a good day. I was having a good day. Until I um, decided I was going to be a good dog parent. I take my dog to school. Because my wife normally does that. But since all this free time I got on my hands, I was like, oh, I'll take him to dog school today. And really, I mean, like dog recess, the dog park. Because the dog parks are still open, even with all these social distancing rules. You can still take your dog to play with a whole bunch of other dogs and not social distance at all. So I'm like, hey, I'm taking dog, Copper to the dog park so he can get some exercise instead of you know me walking around and stuff. And she was like, oh, great. So what I realized at dog recess is that uh, my dog is the equivalent of the recess nerd. Um, I wasn't a recess nerd at all. Matter of fact, when recess came along, it was my time to shine. Jump, run, frisbee. Not my dog at all. My dog uh, spent, he was really good at a couple games. He was good at keep away. He was really good at keep away. He grabbed something and then other dogs tried to get in him and run and duck underneath stuff. And I think eventually they got tired of that and they were like, hey, time for the second half of recess to show your father what you really made of. And then they just started Hump, I mean, they started punking them all recess. No, I meant humping. It was just so much. You know, like, the first dog that latched onto him, I wasn't even looking at this point because they'd been playing keep away for eight to nine minutes. I was on my phone, you know, playing words with enemies, words with friends, and all I heard was, oh, that's cute, and I look up, and my gold retrievers, like this, and there's this giant black lab just paws up and just killing it. And I was like, oh, that's not cute. Who would scream that? So I tried to man up and I, like, like any parent of a nerd during an athletic event, I tried to encourage him. I was like, hey, Copper, come here. He didn't move at all. He just kind of looked up at me and made eye contact as that other dog just continued to do his business. And no worse feeling than being looked at while your dog getting violated. I, I just went back to the telephone. So now I'm just texting, texting people like, oh my God, I can't believe. My wife didn't tell me this is how he behaves at the dog park. This went on for four or five more dogs. It, it got so bad that I just decided I was never gonna claim him and I was gonna wait for all of his aggressors to have their parents pick him up and leave the dog park. That took like an hour. That's how long this went on. It was, it was, it was, it was horrific. It was, I was not having fun at all. I was pretty stressed out. I was like sweating. I couldn't figure out why. I didn't know how to address the situation. Should I run over to one of the parents of the aggressors and be like, hey man, I'll stop humping you when your dog starts humping mine. All right, you call your dog off, I'll stop. But that's not socially acceptable and it's not good social distancing. So I did none of those things. I just waited till they all left put his leash on him, and we start walking to the dog vestibule, like that two-gate system they have. When we, they let one dog in, then they close the second gate, and so your dog doesn't run out in the park and just get banged all over town. And as we get to the vestibule, another guy is approaching in a true dog owner fashion. I've never met this man, but apparently he's met my dog. And without missing a beat, he goes, hey, hey, look. Hey, look, Juno, it's Copper. And I go, oh, he goes, that's Copper, right? And I go, yeah. And then he goes, you got a real party dog, man. Did he just call, did he just call my dog to jump off? Anyway, Copper and I had some words on the way home, but got me to thinking, long day, how do I fix this? Long Island, that's what we're gonna make today. It incorporates five spirits and a liqueur each spirit represented by the amount of dogs I watch violate my poor puppy. So the ingredients are vodka, gin, rum, tequila, triple set, and then a sour mix. Lemon, lime, simple syrup. But I'm going to do two because I'm going to make a traditional Long Island and then I'm going to make a peach Long Island. If you don't have peach preserves like I have, that's how pimps do it. You can simply just substitute 
the peach snaps for the triple set. So let's get started. So traditionally, I'm gonna put all the ingredients in the glass. No ice, nothing. Just three quarters of an ounce of each one of these. Better something than getting attacked and then not being aggressive. Same thing, sour mix, all three quarters of an ounce. And since I'm making a peach preserve, peach Long Island, I'm gonna have to shake this one to get the preserves in there properly. So, in my shaker, ice. Start again with the spirits, three quarters of an ounce of each. Preserves instead of the schnapps, because I like it hot, just like Copper's daddy. <laughs> you know, my dog wasn't even a rescue, and I think that's where I went wrong. We've raised him since he was a puppy, so I feel kind of responsible. All the other dogs must have been rescued. They knew when to get the other dogs off their butt. Copper just kept being like, what, am I doing something wrong? I'm just trying to be friendly out here. Sour mix. So this one I shake. Like Copper's booty at the dog part. Now I'm gonna ice both glasses. And now I just wanna strain my peach island into this. We're gonna leave room because they both get topped with a soda. Traditional Long Island here. It's Coca-Cola. The Long Island, by the way, is a drink that when customers order it, order it, bartenders just judge them immediately. Somebody comes in, a grown man's like, hey, can I get a Long Island? You're like, oh man. Somebody keep an eye on this dude. This is a very boozy cocktail. It's almost four ounces of liquor and you can't even taste it's in there. And then I'm gonna top the peach one. The Canada Dry Green Tea Ginger Ale, because it's my favorite. But you don't want to put Coke in it. You need a ginger ale to bring out the peach flavor. Both at this point will need to be stirred just to incorporate all the ingredients. And they both get topped with a lemon. So I'm making two lemon wheels. And there we are. Hopefully I'll forget about what happened to me at the dog park today. I mean, what happened to him at the dog park. Long Island iced tea, Long Island peach tea. Enjoy it. <laughs>